G'day, welcome back to Dad vs. Son and our playthrough of Great War Commander. And we're playing Scenario 3, Chateau Fury, and we're back to the French turn. We're currently at time 4 of 7 with 4 German VP, but we've knocked out the German leaders and one of their platoons against two French line platoons. And the Elan of Lieutenant Antoine has carried him forward to objective one with 40% of his troops, um, which isn't all that flash, but against uh, machine gun fire to start with before we knock that out is pretty damn good. Um, so they're hoping to now move through and roll up the German right flank. All of these German forces are out of cohesion. It's only this fusilier in the chateau with the German hero that uh, are still basically effective troops. But we've had a breakdown in communication and none of the other French troops have really moved forward except for Lieutenant Labas, who did a little advance right on the first turn and then uh, has been halted waiting for fresh orders. So let's see what we've got. And the French finished with a command confusion last time and have picked up an advance, fire, fire, advance and recover. I really would have liked a move or an offensive, that's for sure. Okay, so um, I think the first thing we do is an advance. So we shall and advance to start with and we will activate Lieutenant Antoine and his people and they will advance up into these buildings here, up the hill and this guy will advance towards objective four like that. and try and get this guy in a pincer movement. Right, next. I think we'll try a fire. Uh, now this guy has already been broken, so I'm gonna try and take him out with, the, uh, uh, with our 75 again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have a range of nine. One times four does nothing. Righto. Nobody else can fire. I want to save that advance for next turn to get in there. Uh, we have a recover, but this is the only guy to recover. And I think we'll leave him at the moment. So that's it for the French turn. And I'll get two new cards. And we're over to the Germans who have an advance, fire, recover, and move. Right. So the first thing they're going to do is an advance. And they're going to advance this little fella into objective four, like that. Um, they can only do two orders that's the trouble um, and then we're going to do a well if we do a recover I'll take off all of these but then those three will go back on again this is the only one that will come off but I think we've got to do it to try and save objective four so we're going to do a recover these two come off, this comes off, this comes off. That's the end of the German turn. We check their cohesion and these two and that one go back on again. 
and we get two cards for the Germans. And we're back to the French who have a command confusion, fire, recover, advance, fire, and move. So I think what we're going to do is we will do the advance first. French advance again with Lieutenant Antoine, and he will come in here with his line platoon, and this line platoon will come into objective four. And see if we can roll up the whole of the German right flank. Now, do the Germans have anything to help? We are going to do this one first with the Lieutenant. And the Germans have a ambush, which they're going to use. And the French, if I downgrade this, we go down to two, four, six. If I downgrade this, we go down to five. So we'll break the line unit like that and the what do the French have so we're going to be six against four I don't like those odds so we're going to ambush ourselves and this guy will go down to two minus one and it will be a one and that is it Okay, so we have the German with one plus seven is eight. And we have the French with two, four, six plus seven is 15. And we take this guy out. That's their fourth loss. That's two VP. They lose two, so the Germans are down to two VP. And then we have this one here. The German is on five, um, has nothing to use, and the French have nothing to use. It's simply five against five. And the German gets a seven for 12, and we have a sniper at L9, which is here. So they'll take out the lieutenant. So what we need now is a eight, uh, sorry, a uh, seven for, so would they have? They had seven and five is 12, yeah. So we need an eight to kill him, seven to obliterate both of us, and we get a six, and he takes our line out. Now, six, I'm going to put my plus one on that, taking it up to a seven, which takes it to a 12, and we both die. And that's two VP each, so nobody gets anything. Right. Next, we're going to do a fire and we're going to fire with the 75 again and we're going to fire up into here again uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine three times one nothing happens and our last order will be a recover where we'll remove this suppression uh, no other suppressions for us to remove. Okay, so we have this guy up here is up there for 8, 10, 13. And we get a 7. So he's back. We have this guy here that's gone who's there for 9. 
and we get a six. So he is back, but we have a French sniper hitting at M4. And M4 is here, does nothing. So this guy is back. And then we have the lieutenant over here for 12. We get a three, so he is back as well. That's the end of the French turn. They'll get four new cards. We do our check for cohesion. This guy is still out of cohesion. All of these are fine. So four cards for the French. One, two, three, four. We're back to the Germans and they have a fire, move and move. And they can't fire at anyone. Uh, and they've got two moves and both moves have got a probe on it which is a bit of a pain but um, what can we do I think we need to go back and cover those others so we're going to do a move and we're going to move this gentleman here who can move for we have no machine guns or anything else so he is going to go one to here there is nobody who has line of sight or range to him he's then going to go that's one he will go two three to there and then he will go four to there so I can try and get his um, suppression off him later um, he's in dead ground for the artillery so he can't be seen it's a blind hex so what else can we do this guy can't move well he could move here or here effectively even though he has zero He's effectively on a road, so he could move to here for zero. But I think that's it for the Germans, and they'll get two new cards. There's no defender, only stuff on there, and we're back to the French with their command confusion. Move, move, artillery request, artillery request, and air assault. Right. So let us move first. And we're going to activate Lieutenant Tiguous and his people, and they're going to move. This guy is going to move four and go one, two, three, four. Uh, there's no line of sight. Well, sorry, there's no range here. There's no line of sight here. He's out. That's it. This guy will go one, two, three, four. And these guys can go five total together. And we'll go one, two, three, four. In fact, they'll just go to there. That's fine. I'm happy with that. That's a move for our first. Our second move will be Lieutenant Labus and his people. This guy is going to go three into there it's one for the wall um so it's a plus one for the wall and two into there lieutenant labus and this guy can go five together so that's three four five into here and this guy will go two to here there is no line of sight he comes to here there is line of sight so he's just going to go there that's fine at the moment and then we have one more order to give and what do we want to do we'll do our air assault so our hex is b6 Take a little French plane, put it on B6, and we can't get anybody up that way. There's no other Germans that we can get, so 
nothing happens. That's the three orders for the French. Captain Fleury is just sitting back there going, go on, go on. I'll be there right behind you. Okay, Germans, fire, move, move and advance. Okay. Um, so we will do an advance and we'll advance this guy to there. Just to bring him over, may as well. Um, and then we'll do a move and we'll move this guy one, two to here and he can stay there like that. And that's it for the Germans. Two new cards for them, no defender only stuff. Back to the French, command confusion two artillery requests and they've picked up two artillery requests and an air assault okay so let's do an artillery request why not let's see if we can take any of these germans out and we go j8 which is not looking good at all so j8 is here so we have to break this guy got no choice in it um what else do we want to do then? May as well do the same again. Artillery quest. And we go to B2, which is looking really, really bad, which means I have to take out these two. French bloody artillery. And then our last one again will be a air assault. At 06 is here. So if we follow that up, we're attacking this guy. That's the only one that we can actually uh, get to. He's already suppressed, so we're attacking for a whole three. Plus nine is 12. And he's already in there for eight and three is 11 plus seven, and we have a German event detachment. You may add a team to a platoon carrying a weapon. They have no weapons, so it doesn't matter. That's it for the French. Three new orders for them, three new cards. Back to the Germans. Have a fire, move, fire, recover. Okay, now again, they can't fire at anybody at the moment so they're going to do a recover as their first order so this will come off here this will come off here um, so this bloke is in here for 12 he gets an 8 so he's back and he is the only bloke that can fire so he is going to do it So he can go out to five. So he's going to shoot at this guy. If he comes this way, then we have a hindrance due to the hex side on the field. So he'll shoot at this guy here, which he can get to. So he's shooting for five plus anything? No. Five plus five is 10. And we have a German sniper hitting at B7, and B7 is here and hits our line guy sitting in the shell holes again. Righto, this guy's here for 7 against 10 firepower, gets a 10 and he's fine, and that's it for the Germans again. And they'll get two new cards. Uh, they do have a defender thing on there. Righto, we need to remember that. Okay, 
Uh, French have a command confusion, two artillery requests, and have picked up a move, a move, and a recover. So they're going to do a recover first. Um, so this will come off here. We'll start with the Lieutenant Antoine up there for 13. Gets a 7, so he's back. Then the line platoon with him, who's there for 13. And we get an 11, and he is back. Uh, then this guy here, who's in there for 9. And we get a 10, so he's stuffed. And this is Zouav in here for 10. And we get a 6, so he is back. And we have a French sniper at G6 right here and we'll take out the Fusilier. So this guy is back. Okay, that's our recover. Then we're going to move. Our first move order is for Lieutenant Labas here and all of his people are going to go up. This guy goes two, four and the Germans can fire and will fire. They may as bloody well. So that's their fire order. Now, they can either activate this guy or they can activate this. Um, this will fire for three. This will fire for five. But we have two cover. We have two cover no matter what. But uh, this guy will only get one shot, and that's it. When these move up, there's nothing. So we'll activate the hero with the Fusilier. So they're firing for two, plus one is three. With nothing to add to it. Three plus nine is 12. This guy's sitting in here for nine. Plus 8, 17, and he is happy. These two will move up to here. And again, they'll fire for 3. Plus 5 is 8. The platoon is there for 7, 8, 9, 10. Plus 9, and we have a French event, which is recon. But there are no secret objectives, so it doesn't matter. And then Lieutenant Labas is there for 10, plus 9, and he's safe as well. And then this guy is going to go 1 to here. Again, they can fire for 3. Plus 7 is 10. And we have a German sniper hitting at K5. And K5 is here, does nothing. Uh, at the end of the German turn, that was back on there. That's right. Yep. Um, so we're hitting into here for 10. And he is there for 7 plus 9. Yeah, good. He comes up again. They fire for 3. Plus 9 is 12. And again, he's there for 7... Plus 6 is 13, and he is fine. He has gone 1, 2, and he goes into there for 3, 4. Okay. So again, they fire for 3 at him. Plus 4 is 7. But he is now in here for 7, and 3 is 10. Plus 10. That's the last French card, and we have to draw an event, so we're at time. Five. Another victory point for the Germans takes them to three. We shuffle up the French cards. Uh, the French have one more order they can give. Okay. Uh, so no sudden death, no gas, no smoke, no reinforcements, 
The French will get a strategy card. Which is assaults. Play with a move order. The activated leaders and units can enter enemy occupied hexes. They become suppressed when they do. Melee then occur, occurs normally. Or they can use it for a plus one. Okay, so they're shooting at him for seven. He's in there for ten. He needs to draw a card and gets a three and he is fine. Right, one more order. So we're going to do it. Except we can't do it with them. Who are we going to move? Move or artillery request. And we will move as our last order. And that will be the lieutenant and his person going into objective four, taking control of it. Um, and objective four is not worth anything. At the moment, it's only objectives one, three and five. But that's fine. We've rolled up that flank. Okay, so French get three new cards. We're over to the Germans, and they have a fire, a move, and an artillery request. Okay. Nothing, 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 nothing. Righto. So, I think they've got to... Do they fire? Yes, they do. So they will fire. And again... Oh, what are they going to fire? Is there much sense in that? As much as they want that artillery request hidden position, I don't think they can afford it. They need recovers and they need a miracle. Um, so they're going to discard three cards and take three, uh, take four new ones. Okay, nothing on there, nothing defender only. Righto. The French, two artillery requests, command confusion, fire, fire, fire. So we don't even have a move. <laughs> Righto. Um, so we'll fire. And we will fire with Lieutenant Labas and his people here into here so we're shooting for six and one is seven into there um, we're going to add two for marksmanship to that taking it to nine try and knock out that fusilier so we have nine plus six is 15 not great and what do the germans have to help uh nothing Nothing, 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 bugger. Okay, so we have 15 into here. This guy's here for 9 and 3 is 12, plus 6, he's safe. And the hero's in there for 13, plus 7, he's safe. And we have a German sniper hitting at D11, which is right on this line bloke down here at the bottom of the map, which I'm not even sure you can see properly. But, yeah. So, one French line platoon right on the bottom of the map on D11. Righto, next is a, another fire for our second order, and we'll put a group together here with the lieutenant firing up into here uh one two three four so we can reach 
So we have 6, 7, 8 into here for sure or 9 on a maybe. No, 8 for sure into there. Nothing to add to it. 8 and 4 is 12, so just as well we did it that way. It wasn't going to work the other way. Uh, and he's in there for 7 and 3 is 10 plus 11. And we have a German event, which is sappers. You may place or remove a wire marker in a hex that is both free of any enemy formations and adjacent to a friendly good order unit. Okay. So the only good order unit we have is this guy. So I'm going to put wire right there to try and stop these guys if they try and come across this way. Not that they're likely to, but uh, that's it. Righto. So we have one more order we can give. We can't fire anymore. Uh, that's it. That's it for the French. Now I'll get three new cards. And we're back to the Germans who have a recover. And they know how to use it. So this will come off. This guy's here for nine and three is 12. Get a seven, so he's back. With the leader. And now they have an artillery request, artillery request, and an air assault. Um, and they're going to play an artillery request. And that is going to go to N9. And N9 is here. So they're going to take out the specialist here who cannot use the cannon anymore. And again, that's it for them. Two new cards. No defender only stuff. Back to the French. Command confusion, fire, artillery request, artillery, advance and recover. So we are going to advance. And we will advance with Lieutenant Labas and his people. So... Lieutenant the bus comes in here like this. Um, I think this bloke will advance to here. This guy will advance to here. And let's see what we've got. So for the Germans, what have they got to help? Nothing, nothing. Okay, so they are there for... Uh, they have no ambushes. The French do have an ambush and they intend to use it. Righto. So if they reduce this guy, they go down to two and two is four. If they reduce this guy, they go down to five plus one is six. So they're on six. But the French are going to use Unternehmungsslagdig <laughs> add two when firing or a melee roll. So that's a plus two for them, taking them to eight. And they're going to use Bayonet's Grenade Bundle. Before making a melee roll, add plus two to that roll. And now they're at ten. And that's all they've got. So they have ten plus oh, three. Thirteen. You can't say I didn't try to do the best for them. Okay, now the French are currently on six and one is seven. And we are also going to play Bayonets. So we're at nine. Plus five is 14. And the hero runs away. We don't get anything for him, but we get... 2VP for the Fusilier, that's their second last, which takes the German VPs down to one. Then we take control of Objective 5. And Objective 5 is worth 3VP. So 
The Germans lose one, two, three, which gives the French two, and then the French gain three, which takes them up to five VP. And all we have is two Fusilier platoons left. Right, the French have a artillery request and a recover left. We're going to do the artillery. And it is going to land at C2 and take out our people again. So C2, so takes out Lieutenant Antoine and his platoon again. And that's that. And then our last order then will be a recover. So we'll try and recover Lieutenant Antoine for 13. We have eight. He's back. And then the platoon with him, who's there for 13. And we have 12. And that is time to six. One VP for the Germans. Takes the French down to four. We reshuffle the French deck again. We still have to finish off our recover. Okay, so uh, no sudden death. We're just short of that. No gas, no smoke, no reinforcements. Uh, the Germans have a dig in, but they don't need to use it. And both sides have a strategy card, so they're fine. So this guy is back by one. Now we've got this guy here for nine. And he gets a six, so he's back. But we have a French sniper hitting at B10. Down here does nothing. So this guy is back. Um, and then we have our line unit here for 10. And we get a 9, so he's back. But we have a French event first, which is hero. If not already in play, place a French hero in a friendly hex and rally someone. So we'll put our French hero here. And then we can forget about that. And we have the specialist over here for 10. Oh, sorry, this guy's back. And he gets a nine, so we have our 75 back as well. And that's it for the French. We look at their cohesion. This guy's fine, 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 good, good, and good. And they get five new cards. One, two, three, four, five. We're at the Germans who have an artillery request and a command confusion. Uh, so they're just going to get rid of both those cards. Get four newbies. Uh, okay, and they have a couple of defender-only ones. Righto, back to the French. Command confusion, advance, command confusion, offensive, advance, and fire. Right. Let us do what? What do we want to do? What do we want to do? We're going to do a fire burst. And... Yeah, we can, we can, we can. We can fire into there with all of those. Or I can do this. So what will this give us? Six, seven, eight for sure into there. Um, now we're going to try and fire our 75. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We fire the 75. Five fives is good. 
So it's going to shoot for 9, plus 1 is 10 for the elevation. Um, with nothing to help. Plus 5, 15, not fantastic. And this guy's in here for 7 and 3 is 10. Um, and has nothing to help. We have 10 and 4, 14, which is a hit, um, which would break him. So we're going to use our plus 1 to make it 15, and he would simply be suppressed like he is. And there we go. Then we're going to do on an offensive. And we're going to activate Lieutenant Labas and his people, I think. So this guy will go to here for one. So do they have a fire? And they do not. So he goes one, he goes two, he goes three, four. Um... This guy will go one, two, three, and Labas, and this guy will go one, two, to here. And that's good. And then they can fire. So again, we're firing for six, seven, eight, nine now into here. Um, and we're going to add hand grenades to make it 11 plus 8, 19. Okay, and Mr. Frenchman there is there for 7 and 3 is 10. Ah, uh, sorry, German. 10 and 7, not enough. And he is broken. Okay. So we've given two orders. We have one more order. And I'm not going to bother about that. Because anyone I can give is an advance. Which I want to do next turn. Uh, so the French will get three new cards. And then we're over to the Germans. Uh, he would really, really, really like to get rid of some cards, but this guy needs to recover. So he's going to recover. If he's said any good, he's got to. There's not much else I can do. He's got to go for the recover. So we'll remove this. He's in there for 12. We get an 8, so he's back. Um, and then they've got a move, but no matter where he moves, we can get a shot off at him. Okay. If he moves to here, then these two can get a shot off. And then he moves to here, then these two, he can't get a shot off anymore, I don't believe. Uh, no, but this guy can. But if he can get up here, then he's on to objective three, which is worth two VP. Um, and he won't be suppressed because he'd be on an objective and on the board edge. So it's a big ask of this poor guy. Um, but there's really not much else he can do. So... He's going to do it. So he's going to move. And he's going to go one to there. Can the French fire? And they cannot. They do not have a fire order. So he goes one into there again. He stays there. Cannot do any more. Um... He remains in cohesion now. They get two new cards. 
We have another defender only. Okay, and we're back to the French. So they have two command confusions, two moves, an offensive and an advance. Um, so we're going to do a move. And this guy is going to move first, and he's going to go one, two into there. And he is going to. Oh. No, he's not going to opportunity fire. This guy is going to go one, two to here. He's still not going to opportunity fire. He's going to move to here, and we are going to put hidden wire in there and that's as far as he can go and then Lieutenant Labus and this guy here will go one to here nothing happens they're now on a road so it can go still one to there and we will place more hidden wire there And they have to stop. Um, okay, so next for the French, they are going to do a move and will activate the lieutenant here and his people. So this guy is going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And these pair can go five together. One, two, three, four. That'll do. And then we have an offensive and an advance. Um, so it's about time Captain Fleury did something, isn't it? So we have... Oh, sorry, wrong one. Hey! We have an offensive for Captain Fleury. We go 2-4, 2-4, 2-4. And they're finally off the starting grid. And that's it for the French. Okay, so they get three new cards, and then we'll have a look at them. And now, because of what's happened here, this guy is suppressed because he's outside of the command of Lieutenant Labas. And we're over to the Germans, who have a fire and an artillery denied. Um... And I don't want to do anything. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think. Um, no. So two new cards for the Germans. And we have the French with two command confusions, advance, artillery request, advance, and fire. Right. Let's do this. So we're going to do an advance. And we're going to advance from the wire into here. Um, and we're going to advance. Um, We'll actually advance the lieutenant and his guy over to here to pick this guy up. So even though then the wire, that's that. Okay. So for the Germans, do they have anything? And they've picked up an ambush. So they do have an ambush. So our Frenchman is reduced. What do the French have then? 
nothing. Okay, maybe the Germans will win this one. Okay, the Germans in there for five. Oh, plus 12, 17. Okay, so that goes up to 17. However, it is now the Germans who we have to reshuffle their deck. And we go to sudden death like that. So we shuffle up the German deck. Okay, so it will end on a six or less. It will go ahead on a seven or more. Righto, German deck. We'll cut it and we get an eight, so it goes ahead. Ah, uh, slippery little suckers. Righto, so we have the German in there for the maximum, 17. We can't do anything about that because we're in there for three. So even if we draw a 12, we lose. And we get a 10, so it was a bloody good guy. Good go, but he dies. And that's two VP for the Germans, so... The French go down to 2 VP. Righto. Next, we have artillery, fire, advance. Um, well, let's get rid of the artillery. <laughs> Artillery request, and it lands at H10, and H10 is here, and there's nobody within three hexes, just so nothing happens, and that's it for the French, and they'll get two new cards, and we're over to the Germans who have an artillery request, artillery denied, and a route uh, route's no good to them. Artillery request is no real good to them. Um, and the artillery denied's not going to do them any good. I hung onto that because it was a hidden pillbox. But the French have been advancing into there rather than shooting into there, so it's no good. So they'll get rid of those three cards, pick up four newbies. Not looking at them, and we're back to the French who have two command confusions a fire, advance, a fire, and a fire. And we're going to advance. So let's see if we can knock this bloke off this time. He's done well so far, that's for sure. Um, this bloke will just stay where he is. Right out. So German. Nothing, 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 nothing. Okay, no ambushes or anything this time. So he simply has five plus seven is twelve and a German sniper. And the sniper hits at L three. And L3 is here and takes out our Zouaves over here. Okay, do the French have anything? And they do not. So it's going to be their 12 against our 5, 6, 7. 7 and 8 is 15 and we take it out. And that is their surrender level. We take Objective 3, so we get 2 VP for taking him out. And Objective 3 is worth 2 VP, so the Germans lose 2, we gain 2. So the French have 8 VP. And that is that. So the only troop they had left was this little fusilier up on the hill. Wow. So... Um, 
in all honesty, this game was really won predominantly by Lieutenant Antoine and his company. And uh, they're the ones that took the hurt. Um, they really did. Three line platoons. He lost. He lost 60% of his troops. Wow. But he did it. He took two objectives. Uh, Lieutenant Labas then came up and took two objectives and lost um, a third of his force. And uh, the lieutenant over here soaked up a bit of fire off and on. Wasn't far off taking objective two. And uh, Captain Fleury didn't get too far out of his campaign tent and is busy sitting back there sucking some more champagne so thank you very much for watching um i enjoyed that it was is it, again this one finished uh a little bit different to every other time that i've played it um, i've never actually taken more than objective five or objective and objective one off the uh the german so we've picked up two extra objectives i've never done before um, nearly picked up all of them. So, uh, well done the Frenchies. Unlucky for the Germans. So, uh, take care, be good, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.